I want you all night, all night. I'm levitating. Kaya naman, Jekas. Hello. Bate ka sa dili. Parang party mode ka ngayon, ha? No. This is this is what we should do. I should help ah, okay. you up. Ah, okay. Kailangan bang mag-party mag oh, mode ng ganyan? Okay, because oh, it's Friday. Every part of the show. Hello po sa inyong lahat. Happy, happy Friday. Uh, anong oras ba sa atin? Okay. It's 9.33 p.m. po. Dito sa US, so good evening po sa aming dearest USA. And oh it's 10.30 a.m. naman sa Pilipinas. Energy. So good morning po sa inyong lahat. Lagi naman tayo ganito. Oh eh, para, oh, hindi pa tayo nagpa-party niyan. Ha? Samahan niyo po kami sa Pilipinas na I'm sure kayong lahat, tulog pa yung iba kasi Saturday, ano ba? Saturday morning ay sa Pilas, no? So mm-hmm. while you're while you're having breakfast or probably you're cooking dinner on your on your way to work, Please, makinig po kayo ngayon kasi naman, ako, ang ating special guest is pinakasikat na sportscaster. ba diba? Sports ca- mm-hmm. Sportscaster sa PBA. Yes. Former, po, oh, diba? Okay, j ikaw naman, dali. Do your ano thing. Ano gagawin Siyempre, ko? Siyempre, magtrabaho ka. Hindi pa tayo bayad. Go. And ito, pa pula, ito pa pala. Good morning oh. po sa yes. lahat <laughs> ng mga Filipinos and non-Filipinos in different time zones, in different dimensions, in different galaxies, in the whole universe. Bars, 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 bars. I'm so excited sa ating special guest kasi sa totoo lang hinahangaan ko yan dati. Every time I watch, you know, PBA kasi my dad loves PBA. Pero, nung nandito na ako actually sa US noon eh. So, pag napapanood ko, once in a blue moon, nakikita ko lagi yung kanyang beautiful face. O, di ba? Tapos ngayon, may interview natin siya. Yeah. Wow, how exciting. Oo, at saka ito pala. Um, we would, before we introduce our special guest, we would like to say um, uh, hi to Doc Alice. Hi, Doc Alice. Uh, yes, hi, Doc. Si Doc Alice po is... Go. Okay. Meron siyang free COVID testing oo, sa kanyang mo- Monarch Medical Aesthetics sa Woodside in New York. So, for those people who wants to have a uh, a test uh, for COVID, please, uh, it's for free. And for those uninsu- um, uninsured, it's for free. And doon naman sa mga may insurance, you don't have to pay copay. O, di ba? So, mm-hmm. hi, Doc Alice. O, ayan. O, intro ko na ating special guest for tonight. Yes. Okay. Our special guest for tonight is a multi-awarded journalist and broadcaster known for her work as the creator, host, and producer of Kababayan Today, formerly known as Kababayan LA, a daily show magazine talk show for and about Filipinos. Back in the Philippines, she was also a famous former PBA courtside reporter. An accomplished media practitioner in the Philippines for six years before migrating in America. She has covered impactful events like the 1998 Philippines election centennial celebration and several ASEAN Games. She was also a columnist for the Philippine Stars, The Score, a weekly sports column from 1999 to 2004, as well as So Goes, a weekly lifestyle column from 2002 to 2006. She has won several awards and accolades here in the U.S. for her work like the honorable mention from the Los Angeles Press Club and at the 53rd Southern California Journalism Awards and the New America Media Awards for Outstanding Community Reporting for Television. Grabe, ang dami namang award ng bakla. Ang dami, no? Exactly. <laughs> currently, she has been seen, She uh, currently, she can be seen on her self-produced lifestyle magazine show so janelle on tfc and youtube channel let's see the other side of the mega talented and another jane of all trade guys please welcome the beautiful and talented philamida pioneer herself miss, miss janelle, janelle so, so. Woo-hoo. Oh, boy. Oy. Ay, Ay, Jesus. Yes, 
with a beer. Oh my <laughs> beer? Sana pala nag-beer ako. ako. Kaya. Friday. I know. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for the introduction. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jcast. Hello. Kamusta? Thank you for having me on your show. Oh my God. It's an honor. It's an honor. Thank you for being here. Oh, oh. Ikaw ang queen ng ano, no? Ng film media talaga. Pag sabi mong Janelle So, ay, alap na ko. Magaling yan. Kaya sabi namin, hala. Pag sinabi mong Janelle So, she's so... Janelle. Ah! Janelle? Oh. Bak, gusto ko yan! I like that. I like Uh-oh. it, like it. Like it. Yes! yes. Oh, Hindi oh, like, ba oh, kami oh, na iinom? O, oh, mag-iinom na tayo. Okay. Oh, okay. Sige, mayroon kaming protocol. May mga akaklit. Okay. Eh, kalan kami. Oh, sige. Oo, oh, oh. sige, sige. I-welcome ka namin na. Okay. Sa Sambayan ng Pilipinas at sa aming dearest USA, i-welcome po natin ang napakagandang Miss Janelle So. Welcome, welcome to... to... Over, Over a glass, a glass or, or two. two. Cheers! Cheers! Cling, cling, cling. Cling, cling. <laughs> oh, ayan. Iinom na tayo. Mm, anong iniinom mong beer? Mm. Hindi ko alam eh. Kasi nandito ako sa bahay ng sister ko. Siya lang nagtigay sa akin ito. I'm sad. Ah. I'm in getting it. I can't drink anymore. I have gout kasi. Talaga <laughs> naman. <laughs> Juice? Ah, this Hindi. is uh, pomegranate. Uh, no, grapefruit with a splash of vodka. Oh, oh, oh. bawal na siya sa beer. Ate, di ba? Ang, ang, mga, ang mga lolo, hindi na pwedeng mag-beer. <laughs> Ay, lola, magtigil ka. Okay, tumigil ka. So anyways, uy, teka, ano nga, class picture naman tayo. Meron kami beer ito rin, protocol. Dami ate dito ito. sa show na to. Oh, sige, oh, taas mo naman yung iyong beer. Napasarap. Akala ko San Miguel yan. Eh. Okay, yeah. one, two, three. Ayan. Pantuhan na tayo. Okay. O yan, pwede, ka, pwede kang uminom ha. Eh, may inom talaga kami dito. Tapos hanggang sa malasing na yung... yung tapos lahat, ini-spill na nila. Oo, oh, oh. inom ka pa ng inom. Oo, oh, inom lang ng inom. Mm-mm. Na lang pala, mababa na yung battery ng computer ko. So... Ay, patay. <laughs> Ay, ganun. <laughs> dun, sa, dun sa important question. Ito, so, oh, biglang, pip, 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 bye. <laughs> Teka, uy, mag-haibu na tayo. Nandito si Miss Pilar Mateo. Hi, Pilar. Ate Pilar. Hi, Ate Pilar. MJ Rocadio is here as well. Oh, oh, they're watching. Hi, Chrissy. Hello, hello from Australia. Okay, magkwentuhan na tayo. Teka, kumusta? Kumusta ang quarantine life mo pala? Kasi since, kailan kayo nag-start na mag-lockdown sa California? March. Second week of March. Oh, second week of March. So, how's, how's your quarantine life? During like seven months na, di ba? Oh, but it's been, you know, it's been very difficult. Um, people are talking about how difficult quarantine is. Double that for me. Kasi in November of last year, we had a kitchen mm. leak sa bahay. Okay. Tapos, so we had to leave kasi nasira yung mga floor, yung mga kitchen cabinets because it was a major leak, right? And then I was talking to my husband, we decided na since we wanted to do upgrades on the house, isabay na, right? mm But because it was around Thanksgiving and then a Christmas and then a New Year, natagal yung process ng pag-assess and everything, right? So basically, uh, June lang nag-start yung work. But March, naka-lockdown na kami in a house na walang kitchen. Wow. <laughs> walang kitchen, walang working sink. We couldn't cook. Kaya everyone's like nakakaingit, diba? Everyone started on the, like, the pandemic baking thing. Yes. I couldn't do that. I couldn't cook. Walang stove. Walang nothing. We only had a microwave and the grill outside. Because we basically lived on the one side of the house while waiting for work to get done. Oh. It's the worst time to have a renovation that, that that's not happening. Exactly. <laughs> it, it, oh my gosh. It was so hard na para even when like, okay, so March, right? And then finally June. Uh, so finally May, June, finally they said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna start, finally. Okay. Pero they had to, parang may mga tatanggalin sa bahay na kailangan ng malalaking bins. And remember around May, early May, uh, late May, early June, mm. nagkaroon yung mga protests. Yes. Tapos nagkaroon din ng, uh, sad to say, nagkaroon din ng mga, like, a little bit of destruction because mm. some, uh, yung mga opportunists took advantage of the situation. Yes, so like, uh-huh. So basically, they couldn't give us bins for our trash para dun sa mga tatanggalin na mga walls because the bins were being used by the cities to clean up. Oh, wow. So na-delay na naman kami. For, ano na-delay nang na-delay. So finally, work started end of June sa bahay. And then hopefully, hopefully, God willing, by Monday, we'll be back na. Ah, so ngayon... 
Oo, oh, unak nandiyan ka sa sister mo, right? No, so nandito ako sa sister ko lang to stop kasi I was supposed to t- do this sa office. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> ang dami, di ba? <laughs> Oo. Talagang, oh, oh, ah, okay, okay. Oh, oh. Talagang stop over, nagsa-stop over ka muna oh, dyan. Oo, oh. oh, oh, oh. kasi kasama ko yung daughter ko, ganyan. Basta maraming mga, yun na, isa pa yun. My daughter, who was in the Montessori, di ba, hindi na rin siya pwedeng pum- pumasok ng school. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. she was home with me then. Um, in a house na ganun nga yung situation plus my one-year-old son. Ang kulit ng son oh ko. Gra- I'm sure. Ang cute-cute nga eh. Oo nga. Ang guwa. Pang artista ha. Meron kang future. Oh yes, meron kang future. Pwede ano. na pagkakitaan. Alam mo naman, na tayo mga fi- Filipinos yes. gusto natin ang mga mix. Mga future artista. Oh, oh. <laughs> Tinatrain ko na para makapag-ano na ako. Makapag-retire. Uh, Retire. <laughs> Tama. Makapag-retire na lang ako. Mamager. <laughs> Uy, yeah. sabi ni Elton, no? Elton Lugay, mahal ko yung guest nyo. I know, I love Hi, Elton. Oh, Ayun, si Cory Miranda is here. Oh. Hello. Si Cory is a friend of um, Paco, Aris Paco Chaga. Mm. Diba pa ako and you are good friends? Oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. oh my bye. God. And then, ang ganda-ganda raw ni AC, sabi ni AC Dumantay, syempre, di ba? Hindi, walang kakupas-kupas. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> pero, Ay. oh, talaga namang may pagganong pa si director. Ano naman ang buwan? Oh, oh, oh di ba? O, di ba? Para sa'yo oh, lang diba? yan. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, kwento ka nga. Kasi, ano, curious ang lahat. Kasi, di ba, sobrang, Uh, oh, you were a, a famous uh, sportscaster in the Philippines tapos nagpunta ka dito. Pero before may kwento yung journey mo na, you know, of, of migrating in the US, sa Pilipinas, paano ka nag-start? Like, how was your your your, your childhood life? Ano ka na ba? Bata ka pa? Kasi di ba may mga bata na nung, nung if you ask them, like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow older? Tipong iba, gusto kong mag-doktor, gusto kong mag-ganito, mag-lawyer. Ikaw ba tipong sinabi mo, gusto kong maging sikat na journal? May mga ganun ka bang peg? Paano nag-start lahat to? I remember growing up. Uh, ano ba? Growing up when I was a child, in enrolled kasi kami sa speech. Ano yung speech class yun eh ng mom ko. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos dun ko uh, that's the time when I had to practice in front of the mirror, reading reading stories, reading the newspaper, ganun din. But I really didn't wala akong naisip na mag-TV ako or anything like that. Tapos pagdating ng high school, I decided I wanted to be a lawyer. Kaso, di ba, pag-lawyer, eight years. So, hmm. sabi ko, I don't, I want to take a free law na should I decide not to continue, that I can find a decent job. Ay, madaling so, ka, girl. Oh, oh. Smart, smart, smart move. Uh, <laughs> Pero kung sinamad ako, I can find a job, right? So, I went to Communication Arts, Miriam College, formerly Mary Noll, and then I, um, After noon, while I was there, there was a teacher, advertising siya, teacher, that mm. inspired me to get into advertising. So, in fact, nag-ano din ako, I dabbled in advertising in the Philippines. Nag-ano ko, um, I was an intern for Makan Erickson in the Philippines, sa Makati. Oh my when I was God. Yeah, Communication I was arts. Galing. Mm-hmm. Sa Makati. Oy ha, so Shalia na advertising agency. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then they absorbed me. So, after college, They offered me a job, right? So okay lang yon. But then at the same time, um, while I was in Miriam, there was a day or a time when Vintage Television, the sports production company, sent uh, sent a crew to Miriam to to audition students because they wanted to get like fresh faces, quote unquote, to host their I think um, their uh, NBA uh, PBA All Stars, 1995 yon. Oh, that was how many years ago? 20... Eight years old ako noon. Oh, eight years old. Huwag na natin okay. bilangin. Sabi ko na nga ba, huwag na tayo magbilangin. Pare-pareho tayo na idad yes. eh. Oo, oh, oh. oh, oh. correct. <laughs> okay, tapos? Tapos, okay. ano, tapos hindi naman talaga ako, I really didn't know, I wasn't into sports growing up. Okay? Oh. But, uh, yeah, I wasn't into sports. But, um, but all my friends were. So, sabi ko, instead na mag, isa ako magla-lunch, and since they were all going to the audition, sumama ako. And then they all audition, and then it was ayon speech power. That's correct, Lucy. Oh, speech yeah. power. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then um, and then after <clears throat> noon, um, eh, so they were auditioning. Tapos si Anthony Suntai, I don't know if you remember him. I remember. He, oh yeah. He said, "Oh, sabi niya, what about you? Tino turo niya. Kasi ko no, I don't know anything about sports. I'm not interested. Sabi niya, no, we just want to see how you uh, 
register on camera. Sabi ko, okay. So, kunwari yung interview, interview niya ako, na, yun na pala yung audition ko. And then, in the end, they picked four from that audition, and I was one of the four who got in. Wait, 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 wait. What about your your friends na nag-audition? They got in? One of them did also, pero hindi nag-continue. Gusto ko ba nila sa kalin during that time? Parang, <laughs> sampid ka lang dito Wait, ha. Did, did, did you lose your namin. friends ba? Usually that happens eh. <laughs> Oo, oh, ulit iba. Hoy, wala ka lang magawa Show nung lunch ha. Sumama ka lang sa amin. Oo, oh, <laughs> wala nang magawa. <laughs> Oo, pero ang galing no. So, they pick you, okay? So they picked me, tapos I did the NBA, uh, the PBA All-Stars, 1995. And then they wanted to get me regularly for NCAA and PBL but I was I wanted to concentrate on school eh di ba pag games naman you have to adjust to them kasi yung games nakaset na yan eh di ba okay. so I said no I turned that down but Channel 13 at the time in the Philippines IBC 13 was starting a youth oriented public affairs show called FVR Up Close and they got me kasi naman sila taping lang yun and they adjusted to my schedule kung kailan ako free di ba pag college minsan may mga free oh, oh yes oh oh so, so that's when we did that. So I did that, and then they continued to use use me. <laughs> they continued <laughs> to use me until after college, and then after college, they hired me to be IBC thirteen. Hired me to be their late night news anchor. Uncle, but wait, nakapaso ka as a sportscaster, that knowing that you don't know anything about sports. Girl, pero na kung sino ba yon? Para corona. Hindi, yeah, I mean, you have to know. Kasi ako hindi rin mahilig sa sports, eh, di ba? Hindi ka rin mahilig sa sports. Oo, oh, oh, so ako din, eh. paano yung pa, pa, paano mo uh, pinag uh, piece no, your or nag adjust or ano sinabi nila sa iyo? Just read this. This is what is concerned about what you need to do. They basically oh. they assigned a person, a producer beside me that would walk around with me, explain the place, explain the explain everything until I was able to do it na on my own. But in the beginning, like the best player, they would send me to ask questions, right? Yes. They would, you know, they would feed me the questions in the beginning. Now, oh, ito, look at that player. If that, if that, if they win, that's the best player. These are your questions for him. Tina oh, ha, they wanted you we... so bad in the position. And, and tin mo ginawa mo, you just had to fake it till you make it on drama, diba? Exactly. Alam mo, that means it really meant for you, eh, no? Ako, so I'm a firm believer na if it's really meant for you, it will fall on your lap flawlessly. And binigahinain sa'yo. Did you fall in love in that? Oo, oh, yun na nga, eh. Actually, yun ang tanong ko, eh. I mean, Ay, gwapo ko bang na-date? Si Direk. Si Direk. Oo. Oo, sa sports. Si Direk, yan. Gusto ko tanongin to, favorite ko to. Mayroon ka bang mga na-date? Siyempre, ko gwapo na. Diyos ko, Lord, talaga. Oo, oo. Tipo, at saka, wala. I'm sure lahat sa'yo. Wala. Wala, wala, wala. O, lumandi sa'yo nung mga time na, thank, thank you for the showbiz answer. Okay, yung totoo na. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oo oh, nga, okay, parang, mamaya, itetext ko sa'yo, Jessie. Kung ano ito. Mamaya, ah, sige. Ito, ito sa private chat. Ayan, itatext ko. May joke. <laughs> oh, sige, sige. Wala. Ah, so, talagang professionally. When I, when I was in the PBA, I had a boyfriend. Oh, uh, sa PBA then or or hindi? He was a colleague. So, ano rin siya? He was also a sportscaster. Ah, uh, anong pangalan? An- joke. Sino sa doon? <laughs> hindi naman namin kilala. X na, X na joke, joke. <laughs> I-google ko lang mamaya. Din kilala oh, ko na siya. Malala. Ay, sabi niya, sino ang PBA na, in- na intimidate kang interviewin? Ayan, magandang Ayun, tanong yan. Ayun, magandang kwento yan. Ay, kwen- yeah. tanong yan. Actually, okay. no time na yun, wala. Because they were all friendly. Um... Hmm. Oo, oh, oh, wala, wala naman. And they, they were all friendly. Yun lang, syempre, kailangan mong, kailangan mong malaman kung sino yung Bisaya or <laughs> kasi you, it, you have to understand. Uh-oh. O kaya, di ba, pag Cebuano, dapat Englishin mo na lang better than Tagalog, yung mga ganon. After a while, I got the hang of it na, and then nakilala mo na rin sila personally, right? Okay. So, oo, oh, oh, so yun. Ay, so, okay. you know, I wasn't really, ano, I wasn't, Wala naman, wala. Wala naman. Oo, oh, oh. sabi secret Jessie. Ay, secret daw. Ay, Ay meron talaga i really Parang sarap mo. So, sana naging best friend kita nung panahon na yun. Naku parang, Lord, patay no? ka dyan. Were you there? In the yeah, place? yeah, I, I came here 2011. I came here 2000. Oh, I came here 2000. What about you, Jessie? Kailan ka nagpunta? Ah, uh, 2000. Year 2000 ako dito. Uh, why did you move? 
ah, wala lang dahil sa love life. Tapos gusto ko na dito. Tapos bigla akong na in love din ako dito. So, oh my God, this is my life. Parang alam mo, sa totoo lang, kaya ako believe sa'yo. Kasi ako, ako din kasi, I took up communication arts. Okay. Si Jekas din, uh, si Jekas naman, uh, ar- architect, architecture. Pero oh. ako, uh, kaya ako believe sa'yo kasi you really followed your passion. Oh, oh. Ako naman, instead na parang gusto ko talaga mag, sabi ko nga, gusto ko talagang mag-advertising, gusto ko mag-PR. Kaso hindi ko pinursu yung dream ko. Napunta ako sa construction industry. <laughs> Tipong ako lang yung babae for so many years and years and years. I know, pero sana, yun yung talaga yung passion ko. Kaya nandi dito kami. Ikaw maganda kasi you followed your passion. Kasi ito pa, oo, ay, hindi pa ha? Okay, okay, go, go, kwento, kwento, kwento. Go. So, so okay. So, when, even when I was doing the TV thing, mm-hmm. eh, di ba, hinar nga ako na makan, di ba? So, yes, I was, yes. And I really wanted to make it work. So, during the day, advertising executive ako. Pagkagabi, newscaster. Tapos pag weekend, sportscaster. <laughs> Walang tulog? Oh Walang tapos, may, tapos may jowa ka pa niyan sa, on top of it, right? <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, wala pa? Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Sundo ako ng daddy ko. Tapos, Ay, atid sundo? Oo. Strict si papa. Eh, si daddy, very strict. So, pag halimbawa, tumawag siya, nandiyan na siya sa baba, pag 6 o'clock, baba na ako dapat. Eh, alam mo naman, pag-advertising, palaging overtime, right? Yes. So, nahirapan ako. Tapos, pag weekend, may shoot ng ad- commercial, I couldn't go because I had the either N- a NCAA or PBL gig. Yes. Until finally, they asked me, Makan, asked me to choose kung gusto ko ba broadcasting or advertising. And at that time, mm. I, liked, uh, I liked broadcasting because the work wasn't as bad and it was enjoyable. There, I, I, I wasn't required to go to an office, pa-iba-iba mm-hmm. yung vacation, pa-iba-iba yes. yung work. It was more dynamic. And at that time, the pay was better sa broadcasting. Of course. Ano pa yung face mo, di ba? <laughs> so, I chose broadcasting. And then, I I got, I stuck to it until about 2000 and, okay, 2000. So, 1999, um, yung petition ng mom, ng grandma ko from my mom's side got approved. Now we were gonna go to the states. Oh. Pero, um, pero my dad sent my brother first to study, and then pinadala yung pinasunod yung sister ko to study. They all grad, they both graduated from USC. But after nung two years nila, parang they said na uuwi na sila kasi nalulungkot sila. So meron na ako sa stand ng hair dito ayon tinanggal ko nila. <laughs> hindi ala tagal, maganda ka pa din. Oh, eh. Hindi kita. Oh, oh. Hindi. Okay. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Tapos um. And then, after noon, uh, naiwan ako sa Philippines because during that time, I was already hosting a lifestyle show with um, Patrick Garcia, pa partner ko, is sa Studio 23. And then I was hosting a sports show. Um, I don't, I can't remember what channel. And then I was covering the PBA. So sabi ko sa dad ko, kayo na lang because I already have a life here. Meron akong career. Eh kaso, parang kinulit-kulit ako ng daddy ko na parang paano sabihin na hindi mo gusto sa States if you haven't even tried, right? Exactly. So, I turned my back on my career that first time. Turned my back, moved here. Sabi ko sa dad ko, the deal was just to study. The sabi ng dad ko, at least, you know, you try it out. Kung hindi mo talaga gusto, then, uwi ka. Eh, yun, ganun na rin. Na-stuck na rin ako dito. Nagustuhan ko na rin. Tapos, I got kababayan LA. So, naiwan ako, di ba? So, tuloy-tuloy na yun. Okay. The second time I turned my back on, on broadcasting was... Two weeks before my wedding, 2014. Kasi oh. diba, I built Kababayan from ground up, right? They hired me yes, to yes. Show, build the show from 2006 until 2014. So, ilang years yun. But 2014, two weeks before my wedding, I left the show. Nag-resign ako kasi yung work, long hours of work, tapos ang taligang gusto ko maging mom. And I was already, what, 37 years old? Sabi ko, oh. Um, pagka ganitong klase yung work ko, tapos I'm older, baka hindi na ako, baka mahirapan na ako to get pregnant and to, you know, to carry out a pregnancy. So, I left the show. Kumayag naman yung fiancé ko at the time. So, I didn't work for three years. Oh, okay. Oh, my God pala. Okay, oh, my God pala. Yun pala yung, yun pala yung reason na yun, bakit na, wala sa kababayan. Ka. Pero wait, Pero, oh, yun, yun. okay. Nung time pa na pumunta ka dito, balik tayo ulit ha. Balik okay. tayo dun sa remote rewind. control. Rewind. Ning, 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 rewind. Okay. Nung time na pumunta ka dito sa US, uh, di ba sabi mo, you really don't wanna, uh, you know, like try in the US kasi nga meron kang iniwan dun, di ba? So, ano yun, bigla na lang, 
bigla ka na lang wow ang swerte ko hinain na naman sa iyo just like in the Philippines yung yung you know yung yung mga projects mo di ba kasi parang oh, nagsa start yeah. ka from start so nag start ka tsaka may iniwan ka bang jowa doon ay nandoon ka sa joke <laughs> yung pala <laughs> ang dami mo pala kasi sana lang tanggalin mo na lang yung tanong mo na una direct oh, oh, <laughs> ganun mo na agad yung jowa agad sige na para dalawa para dalawa na yung ano two birds in one kasi talagang mahilig ako sa love life story oh, eh. pero oh, na oh. pero na kong boyfriend doon that um syempre, obviously LDR hindi nag work out so we broke up um tas ano na yung, yung ibang muntanong <laughs> <laughs> talaga LDR hindi nag work out okay go oh, hindi na sa LDR hindi nag work out so pagdating dito okay. so, oh. pagdating dito so nag-aaral lang ako alam mo naman dito sa America if you're if you have a student visa you can't work and oh, my class okay. at that time my class at my classes at the time sa UCLA Extension were at night 6 to 6 to 9 ng gabi. So imagine during the day I had nothing to do. Sa bahay lang ako. I couldn't drive. I had no work from the fast paced taping and all that in the Philippines. Biglang natenga ako sa bahay tapos I was doing nothing. Tapos pagising ko sa mag, I'll check na computer, friends, turpan on, my space. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my contemporaries, they were getting their own shows, advancing in their careers. I was depressed. Oh, I'm, I was so I depressed. Imagine. I was missing oh. my life back home. I was crying. Tapos, tapos mag- mag-aaral ako, kunwari, at night, 6 to 9 ng gabi. And then I'll get home, depressed na naman, yung ganun. Teka, oh. Janelle, uh, kasi parang ang deal ninyo ng dad mo is, okay, try mo one year, you have you mm-hmm. have to try it and find out if you want to live here in the States. Kasi yeah. sayang, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero, didn't you think na if you didn't want it, that what your jobs na iniwan mo bigla will still be waiting for you after a year? Di ba parang ang hirap nun eh? Oh, parang babalik ka doon. Sa lahat tapos... ng mga, ang dami mga gusto maabot yung naabot mo, di ba? Ang dami mong shows, multiple shows, right? Tapos bilang you just dropped it, yung iba yung gusto yun. And, Pa- paano pagbalik mo? Usually, it's not there for you anymore, right? Parang I chose family. Ah, uh, okay. I chose family. Tapos okay. I was praying na parang if it were meant for me, it's, there's, it's still be the, it would still be there. And then at the same time, I thought that maybe getting education abroad will help me, put me at, at an advantage pagbalik ko sa Philippines. Kasi may ibang perspective na, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I, even if I was depressed, I stuck it out. I stuck it out. Talagang umiiyak talaga ako. In fact, after the first six months, gusto ko nang umuwi. Spring break nun dito, I told my parents I was gonna go home to the Philippines. Ang gababakasyon ako. And even when I came back, may mga offers. And I was so tempted to just stay. But my parents were telling me, sayang, because, you know, with just three months, you'll get your certificate. Then you go back. Okay? So, bumalik oh. dito. After vacation, spring break, tinapos ko yung course. After ko natapos yung course ng nine months, I was given a year of practical training, OPP. Okay. Y- yung OPP, you don't need a green card, you can work here. That's your OPP. So sabi ko, sige, I'll stay na lang din and work kasi sayang naman. Yung iba, nag, you know, they, 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 they want to come here and work kasi ako, I'm given this opportunity. So, I took advantage of that. Tapos after ng OPT, so I was a um, I was a the Los Angeles correspondent for Balitang America on PFC. Okay. Pero natapos yung one year, syempre, di ba? So, kailangan ko na ngayon maghanap ng, ng magsusponsor ng visa ko. Oh, wow. Okay. And hindi sponsor ang PFC. So, I applied at a Filipino publication. I, I wanted to be a writer. And since I had columns in the Philippines, I thought it would be easy. Pero sabi nung newspaper, they won't, they won't petition me for my visa kung hindi ako advertising sales. Ah. Ang dami namang ano? Ang dami. Ang murders, no? Para <laughs> okay. So, nag-sales oh. ko talaga. Nag, nag, nag-aral ako magbenta ng jatyo. Talaga? Pero at least natutunan mo yun, di ba? My first paycheck was 50 bucks. Tapos, you know, uh, I was a correspondent for TFC. Okay. Um, kasi, syempre, spoiled tayo sa Philippines, ba? Yes. Na merong producer, may assistant, may lahat-lahat, right? Um, uh, dito sa America, di ba, sariling kayo? Sariling yeah, lahat mm-hmm. ikaw yes. na writer ka, producer ka, okay. Hindi mm-hmm. ako, ganun. Parang, oh my gosh, ganito pala. Ang hirap-hirap, ganito, ganyan, by, by myself. Everything, all by myself, di ba? But ikaw nag-e-edit, ikaw nagsusulat, ikaw host, ikaw lahat. I would shoot, meron namang cameraman that I would 
um, prepare my shoot, I would pitch, I would prepare my shoot, I'd write the script, I'd voice the script, to send it to the editor. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, the whole nine yards. Oh, oh. But, you know, I was crying pa rin, or depressed, or I was thinking, ganun. and then, ang bait ni Lord, you know why? When LA18 had an opening, they only had um, the time slot. They ju- they wanted uh, uh, somebody to produce. And so, ang nangyari, because I had that background of producing, madali for me to get the job. Oh. I needed okay. an all-around person to produce, to host, to suggest topics, to suggest ganon. So, that was, yun, in hindsight, God was training me. Exactly. Uh oh. Right? Para yes. nung gusto yung opportunity, I already. Sanay ka na. Galing ka. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Tapos, okay. So, after nun, sabi ko ngayon, sabi ngayon ng LA18 management at that time, 15 minutes lang in the beginning, daily shon. Pero tumaas yung demand for advertising. So, ginawang 30 minutes, right? Yes. And then I said, wait a minute, since I have these clients advertising with me on prints and newspaper, offer ko na rin yung TV para they want to advertise on my show, yung kababayan. Yes. And then management was like, really? You can do that? So I started getting my newspaper clients to also advertise on TV. So so in a way, parang they were saying that it was a little bit of uh, different ako because I, I got trained not just on camera, but also behind the scenes, the business side of it. Because I got to meet clients, I got to maintain clients, I knew how to make proposals, mga ganon. Kaling. Pareho kayo ni Jesse. you guys are mirroring oh. lives. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, parang bahala na basta uh, ito, sabi ati Pilar Mateo yeah met you a long time ago sa Balitang America when you did an interview with Aramina mm-hmm. na may tour with Vice Ganda and Alex Gonzaga oo isa rin kasi siya na, na ano yan eh sikat na columnist sa Pilipinas si ati Pilar Mateo and publicist yeah. yes and publicist yes ati Pilar yeah. ang galing no talagang prepare ka niya o parehas tayo tipong basta bahala na pikit mata basta yung passion mo lang Basta diba parang, kaya. Oh, basta, basta kaya. Oh, Pero, oh. So, nung nakapunta ka doon sa LA18, ano yun? Um, nag-audition ka lang doon or you found, uh, how did you get in? How did you get that, that gig? Oo, oh, oh, meron akong, I was, uh, because I was, I was out because I was correspondent for Balitang America, um, people knew me, of me. So, one of them reached out to me and said, hey, have you heard of LA18? It's an Asian language network in Southern California. Mm-hmm. They're looking for a host. October yon, October 2005, I auditioned. And then, mm. November, I didn't hear anything. December, I didn't hear anything. So, ko, parang ayoko na dito sa America. Uwi na lang ako sa Philippines. So, I talked to my parents na, parang pumapayag na sila. Uwi na ako kasi I already tried it out and I didn't like it. Pagdating ng, I think, there, there was a brand in the Philippines that asked me to cover the 2006 NBA All-Stars in Houston. Houston, Texas, right? Nakakaingit ka naman. Gusto ko rin ng red wine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga eh. Mo, sister, sister, pakilang please. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Mamaya so, mag-wine so, tayo. Okay. Okay. Sabi ko, tatapusin ko na lang muna yung gig na yun. Tapos uwi na ako ng Philippines. Right? So, hindi naman tumatawag hmm. tong LA18 na to. So, siguro they found someone else. January, tumawag. Tapos pinag-audition ako. Second audition. After nung second ed- audition, they said, when can you train? So, say ko, they, oh. they wanted to train me to use their equipment, ganun, ganun. So, say ko, parang siguro, does, does that mean I'm already hired, right? Yeah. So, they trained me for five days. After nung five days, sabi na, okay, you're ready. We're gonna launch your show next week. Ganun oh. kabilis? Oh, sabi ko, pero wow. we can't. We can't. Sabi nila, why? Say ko, because I don't have a green card. Uh, currently, I have a petition with this newspaper company, but I can't work for you unless you petition me also. So I had a concurrent visa. They had to petition me. They said, why don't you tell us in advance? Can you say, ba? So they, they expedited my visa. So I think we launched like two weeks after, something like that. And that's when we launched Kababayan. 
Wait, ang bilis ha, na expedite na expedite agad yung visa mo kasi you know when when okay, when we talk about paperwork po dito sa US, eh talaga namang mabagal. <laughs> Parang pagong, 'di ba? Pero sa they they like you that much so they expedited. They made sure na kailangan ma-expedite ang visa mo. They expedited. Ganyan ang my the touch ni Janelle so clinging. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So, praise God. You were right. Yung parang everything was falling into place. And then I did that. And then, you know, the second time I turned my back on this was when I was getting married. Because I thought I wanted to be a housewife. Oh, so wait. What do you mean? You thought that you want to... Pero now, uh, oh, for three years, you stop ka. Tapos, pumayag so, si husband na, oh, okay, sige, you can go back again to... And then that's a, the start that you created the... So Janelle. So Janelle, yeah. Teka, bago tayo mag So Janelle. Kwento mo nga, paano kayo nag-meet ni Papa? <laughs> Ang bogey <laughs> eh. Segway ko lang yung mga Ayan ano, na, segway uh, lang namin uh, yung mga, uh, kar- yung mga... Actually, yung, actually yung career mo, the reason why we wanna, you know, hear the story, and I'm sure the viewers and the listener wants to, to hear your story, it's because, ang daming matututunan kasi marami ngayon dito na parang, marami mga what if. Diba mm-hmm. parang what if, what if I tra- I should have done this, I should have done that. Oh. At, at least sa story mo, ang dami mong binigyan ng ng hope, diba? Ng pag-asa oh. na, oh my God, I, you know, like I can, if she, Janelle can do it, I can do it too. And what, kahit hindi dun sa same, mm-hmm. same uh, work, uh, what's that? Uh, kahit hindi industry, pa parehas same, na, uh, right. same industry. It right. doesn't matter, diba? Mm-hmm. Kaya actually sinegway namin yun na talagang, pero ang ganda talaga ng story mo eh. Actually, hindi ka talaga nag Doon sa mga immigrants, yung mga bagong immigrants, because I hear this a lot, parang you can't compare your life here with your life back home. Yes. Number one. Number two, you always really have to leave your ego at the door. Because no matter what you've accomplished there, it's a different game here. And you can't True. bring that here. True. You have to mm-hmm. be willing to start Whenever, wherever. Especially dito sa America, di ba? They always look for, kahit nga mag-cashier ka lang, mag-apply ka lang sa soccer, oh, sa yeah. target. They look for local experience. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And at the same Grabe, time, no? if they won't hire you, then how can you get local experience? So, para siyang chicken and egg, right? Yes, totoo. And so, at that point, ako, at that time, kung oh, yun lang eh, gusto mo ba talaga mag-stay sa States? Because if you really want to stay sa States, there are opportunities. Just maybe not the opportunities that you want in the beginning, but you have to take it and run Ta-ta. with it. Because if you do your best in that, who knows what other opportunities may open up to you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And tama okay. ka, tsaka ang maganda dito sa US is, walang, di ba sa Pilipinas, okay, aminin na natin, sa Pilipinas is, kailangan, kahit nga barista lang doon, you, kailangan college graduate, and may, may specific um age, di ba, na tipong, pag sinabi lang, oh, I'm 30, 40 something, Uh-oh. I can't have a job na anymore, di ba? Pero sa US, di ba, walang, oh, hindi uso ang prejudice, eh, hindi, wala talaga, para it doesn't matter. Ang daming opportunities, opportunities dito na, nasa, sa, nasa sayo manila. na, nasa sa atin na, exactly. ang, 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 ang bola kung anong gagawin natin dun sa opportunity in front of us. Exactly. It, and it really humbles you, right? It does. Kasi kung ano ka dati sa Pilipinas, dito, di ba, yung iba, naging, imagine mo, may mga friends ako na tipong, Hi, mga big time sa Pilipinas, biglang pagdating dito, they really, really want to stay in the U.S. Nagbibabysit talaga sila, pero girl, aminin mo, ang babysitting po dito, ang laki ng sweldo, Uh-oh. wala pa pong tax. Right, diba? exactly. Diba? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, is, oh, oh, go ahead. Sinwerte ka kasi. Diba? Sinwerte ka eh, no? Naka, kung ano yung career mo? Yeah, I started din from, ano, I started din from, yun nga, I had to learn advertising sales para kung I would park sa isang complex tapos dala-dala ko yung mga newspaper tapos oh. pinapakas sa isa pinatanong ko kung gusto nilang mag-advertise oh oh my god ah, so na-try mo talaga yung literal na naglalako ang ganda lang ng name advertising sales advertising pero advertising sales pero bit-bit mo talaga yung mga News, dyaryo newspaper girl newspaper girl <laughs> yes. oh talagang bit-bit mo talaga yung mga dyaryo oo oh, oh. Ganun. Ay, ang kali. yung newsprint, di ba, madumi yun. Pag hawak ka ng hawak, di ba, ang dumi. Oo nga, ang dumi. Tapos pag ka nakahawak ko sa damit ko, nadumihan na rin, may fingerprint na yung mga um, Grabe, no. At least, o oh, di ba, na-try mo din yun. Pero at least, kasi yung iba, tipong, na-try talaga yung, 
you know, nag-work sa mga Filipino stores, nag-work sa mga, oh, but at least ikaw, you're lucky. Pero iba-iba naman kasi tayo ng mga, di ba, ng mga experience, eh, no? So, okay. So, ano nangyari dun sa Love Life? Alam ko na kami. Pabalik tayo. No. <laughs> Hindi. Nakasulat. Favorite ko. So, ano, naka, nakasulat sa notes ko din, eh. Ganon din. <laughs> Oo. Oh, yes. Oh, so, ano, kwento yung Love Life. Paano mo namin si Papa? So, okay. So, So, I was doing before ba si Papa? Ay, sandali, sorry. Uh, before ba si Papa, na, marami pang... Before ba si Papa, mas meron ka pa bang... Kasi gano'n naman, di ba, minsan, pag before mo ma-meet yung the, you know, the, oh, the no. one, meron ka pa bang mga other oh, relationship? Yes. Mer- meron din. Okay. Meron din. But, you know, si, si Lester, my husband, I met him, I was medyo... I was older na, thir- 36 ba? 35? Parang gano'n. Oh, eh. okay, okay, okay. And I met him online. Oh wait, online dating? Sai? Not platform. Oh! How exciting! Oh, You're one of the success stories. Wala eh. You're... Hindi yung naniniwala pag sa kanila BS yan, BS yan. Ako, I'm a firm believer. Hindi ko na try pero I'm a firm believer. Meron. Diba? So, yes, oh. ako yung takwento dali. Hindi yung parang mentor ko sa LA18 at that time also met his wife sa match.com. So even then, he was already telling me, because I was single, he was already telling me, you you need to go on match, ganyan, ganyan. But you know, Filipinos, right, is it, there's a stigma eh, na parang you're looking, you're, you know, you're actively looking, di ba, for someone. Especially Tapos, for, a, for a lady, sasabihin for a nila. Lady. Exactly, oo. Oh, oh. na, ano, sasabihin nila na, no, if it's the right one, it will come. You have to wait, ganyan, ganyan. And uh, napansin ko, teka lang, tumatanda na ako. Why? <laughs> Hindi na pwedeng mag-wait, di ba? Oo, totoo. So, like, if you think about it, yung sa career ko naman, um, if you want something, what do you do? You work hard for it, right? Yes. May strategy. Yes. Doon ko naisip na, okay, tama na muna yung career. I really want a family. So, I have to work on it. And if it, even if it means signing up online uh, and and answering this email from different people and then going out on dates with them to get to know them, then that's what I'll do. Do you remember your banner? Oh. Hindi. Hindi ko na- banner? What do you mean banner? Yung banner parang sa- yun yung una makikita nila sa- no kasama ng picture mo, parang ah, you're, you're, se- mo you're selling your motto, you're selling yourself. Parang, oh, di ba, oh. funny, I like Pero, no, shopping, chuba-chuba, ganun. Pero nag-start ka sa dating on, teka ha, ano, ano palang sa ujak sign mo? I'm just curious. Okay. Oh, you're a Virgo. Oh, rar. <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> si Jekas is Aquarius. I'm Aquarian. Ha? Huh? Oh, Christmas Day. Oh, diba? Yes. Oh, ikaw, Aquarian. Ano yun? Oh, F- uh, February. Uh, Feb 17, yes. Uh, kasi ako, it's like a secret sa Kino. At saka, par- <laughs> <laughs> ganyan. Pero, uh, saka creative yun. Ganun. Oh, oo. Oh. Oh, oh. so, so, wait, nung time na nag- nagmatch.com ka, kasi, Majority na napansin ko lang ha, sa mga friends ko. Hindi, of course, mga fil- typical Filipino, di ba? Tipong pag sa kanila, pag sinabi mong dating online, parang desperado naman ako, ganito. Yes. Pero most of the time, before sila, before they decide to venture into dating site, is nasaktan talaga sila eh. Like, they, or most of the time, it's like, I'm sick and tired of meeting or people. Or the in-person in did not work. <laughs> diba? Parang, the, the, the meeting, the, um, uh, was introducing friends to, or the blind date didn't work. So, might as well, you know, venture to, uh, was that, uh, uh, online dating. So, paano experience mo, bakit bigla kang nag-switch sa online dating? Yung mommy ko kasi, sabi niya, tanda mo na, mag-asawa ka na. Kung hindi kang, kung hindi mo gagawin to, ako na mag-sign up for you. Gusto niya akong i-sign up sa parang dating match Hindi naman, hindi naman Christian, Ming- oh, Christian Mingo. Oo oh, oh, nga, Christian Mingo. Mga millionaires.com. Oy, <laughs> sa mil- gusto ko yun sa millionaire. Oo oh, oh, nga eh. Anyway. lang, no? Joke, joke. Okay. O, tapos, tapos. Sabi niya, ano, babayaran ko to, na, narinig ko yung it's, it's just lunch. It's a um, dating service na may bayad. Parang, I can't remember how much, but I'm like, oh my gosh, mom, keep your money. Sayang yan. Ako nang bahala. So, nag-sign up ako. Yun. Yun na. So, wait. So, so nag-sign wait, wait. Ka, in the beginning, I really didn't take it seriously until it hit me nga na parang, teka lang. Parang, hmm, gusto ko ng career, I work hard for my career. Gusto ko ng ganito, you work hard for this. 
So gusto ko ng family. I have to work hard for my family, uh, for a family. Oh. And that includes dating, if I have to go out of my shell and date exactly. and try out internet dating and then all that. So yun yung ginawa. I can only imagine that you got a lot of hits immediately when you logged in. For Am I sure, right? ang dami! Hindi ang naman dami? Na- Hindi naman madami, pero kasi sinabi din sa akin nung mentor ko, diba? He's a guy who found his wife. Sabi niya, huwag kang masyadong magtatrust if people like, parang he gave me pointers na before na makita mo kung sino yung naglalaro lang. Halimbawa, yeah. halimbawa, 43 years old na nagahant ng date na 18 years old hanggang 26 years old na. Alam mo na, ah, nag- oh, 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 may mga karate. Oh, yung para wag lang masaya yung oras mo. Oo, oh, mm-hmm. parang, oo. Oh, oh. So, yun. Tapos, yun. And then, um, and then I went out on a lot of like first dates. First date, first date, first date. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi ang, ang idea, ang ano pa naman nun is, I lived on my own. Tapos, nakamakeup ako palagi because from the show, Monday to Friday. Kaya nakikipag-date lang ako Monday to Friday kasi total nakamakeup na ako. After <laughs> lang. Isaha na lang. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. Mag-dinner tayo. Tapos, pag hindi ko gusto din, one, you know, isang dinner lang and then say it doesn't work. W- w- one down free. next. Di ba? May free, di ba? Free ka pa sa pagkain mo. <laughs> Oo. Meron ka pang kauntap. Hindi ka pa kakain mag-isa. Tapos, hindi ka pa na bored. Ang time. Were you looking for... Ano mo sabi oh. nila? Okay, sabi go, go, go. nila. Okay, so internet dating. When you go out, pag hindi mo gusto yung guy, you offer to pay half. Pag gusto mo yung guy, you let him pay. Paano if it's the other way around? Paano kung sinabi niya, Dutch, Dutch kayo eh, kahit gusto oh, oh. kanya. Anong gagawin mo? Next, ganon? Ganon. Oh, oh. Pagka, pagka Dutch, tapos hindi man lang nag-offer to pay for my dinner. Hindi na nakakulit yun. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. Kahit Hello, ang ganda ko, ha? Oo, oh, oh, parang excuse <laughs> me. Hindi mo naman ako kahit sa first day. Naman sa inyo. Oo, oh, oh. pero wait, Filipino ba ang hinahanap mo nung time yun? Or wala ka talagang preference? At that time, I, I really wanted to date Filipino. I wanted to end up with a Filipino. In fact, there was a year or two na uuwi pa ako. I think there was a time for four, four times po umuwi sa Philippines, eh. Para? Pero makipag-date. <laughs> Wait. Ang social lang dating lang. life okay. mo, girl. Yung, yung, yung dito, <laughs> ang dinadate mo, mga Phil Ams. Hindi. In, in ah, Filipino. Ko, at that time, gusto ko Wow. Ah. So wait, umuwi ka literal to go out on a date. Pero ano yung, you never, just for fun? Or kasi, imagine ha. Oh, 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 si Kuya Gary, Gary Perenya is here. <laughs> Hi, Naku? Gary! Naku? Speaking of... Naka-date mo ba si, 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 si single? Gary? Si Gary, oh, lakas baka amoy, oh. Hala. Ay, hindi, pa, yeah. hindi, hindi na pala Naka single ngayon, si pero Gary. my God, Friend agad yung usapan natin. Si Gary, sino? <laughs> ah, wait, naka-date mo ba siya? Ha? Huh? Did you go out with, with Gary Barenya? He's, he's a good friend. Ah, okay, okay. Nakala ko na. Kasi Hi, si Gary, Gary matinik yan, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Dine-setup ko siya sa mga friends ko. Pero may girlfriend ka na, Gary? <laughs> may girlfriend ka na ba, Kuya Gary? Parang last time, wala. Sabi niya, wala daw eh. Pero sige, tingnan natin. <laughs> Ayoko ila- Oo, hindi ko siya ilalaglag sa ano. Oh, pero oh, baka oh, madami. Eh. Mamaya na, chika. <laughs> okay. oh, oh. Pero wait, so, nung time na yun, umuwi ka ng Pilipinas to go out on a date. Wait, knowing na, um, eh, ano ba yun, parang um, hit and miss na eventually oh, yung yeah. guy babalik dito at pupunta rito, susunod sa'yo. May ganun ba? Knowing na ano, na wala na... <laughs> I think it was to have fun and then to meet people, to meet different kinds of people. Tapos, yun lang, parang feeling ko lang kasi in terms of humor, in terms of language, it, it's easier to connect with the Filipino from the Philippines. Kasi even Philams here, di ba, iba na yung upbringing nila. Di, parang iba na. So, parang Tama, ganun. Oh, oh. Yeah, right. Di ba? So, in the Philippines, at least, you know, same upbringing, same ganyan, same circle. Sometimes you know each other. So I thought it was a little bit easier. Tapos dito kasi palagi ako work, 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 work. So, ganon. So, um- na-imagine ko na yung mga quality ng mga lalaking inu- inuwian mo dito sa Pinas. Ah, sa, oh, sa Pinas. Oh kasi parang uuwi ka, just ko siguro mga multi-millionaire. Multi- May mga hunk na, guwapo na, may ari pa ng company. Siguro, no? Ay, mo curious ako, ha. Ano yung during that time, I mean, sa Buti na lang si Lester, ibang lahi, na gwapo. Oh my God. <laughs> Pero, Pero, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Wala siya dito. Oo oh, 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 nga. Oh, nga buti. Pero what, 
Ano yung mga, yung mga nasa checklist mo noon na criteria during that time? Kasi umuwi ka ng Pilipinas and you were, ang time na yun, kasagsagan pa ng mga dating scene mo, ng life mo yun. So, what was like, ano yung mga nasa checklist mo noon? Napapainom siya. Ano yung nasa checklist mo noon? Dapat ba ganito, ganito? Alam namin, oh, oh funny. Yeah, ano pa? Hindi ako ng guide questions. Hindi binigay. Ay, ay, <laughs> buti na nga eh, wala. Oh, oh. Buti na lang, wala. Oo, oh, oh, kasi talagang, oh, mas, maganda kwentuhan to. Oh, oh. May naisip ka ba ng, ano, ano yung mga nasa criteria? mo nung during that time? Alam What were you looking for in a guy? Very superficial. Very superficial. Gusto ko ganito height. Gusto ko ganito itsura. Gusto ko ganito. It's very superficial. Ah. So, yeah, very superficial. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, bin- okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So, tapos yun. Tapos parang, mm, and then finally yun na, parang it hit me na parang I have to, ano, I have to take it seriously. I have to sit down with myself and figure out kung ano talagang gusto ko. What kind of guy do I want? Tapos yon because yun nga so nag don binago yung checklist. Tapos yon. Binago mo na yung filter mo sa ano sa match.com. Sa match.com. Nayus <laughs> ko na. Nayus ko na yung ano yung 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 uh, ano na yun, yung description mga ganon ganon. Oh, 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 oh. And then yun nga I took it seriously. Na para I opened myself up na pag hamba may nag-ask ganon uh, nag reach out na parang medyo at least open na ako na you know especially kung hindi pinoy di ba talagang ay oo oh, oh. pero what what made you fall in love with Lester si Lester Sa daming nang nakapila di ba si Lester kasi so Lester emailed me on na parang ganun din eh October October November mm-hmm. tapos nakita ko si Lester ano siya eh um previously married oh okay. so previously married si Lester so sabi ko ayoko to ayoko sagutin so pero His letter was very thoughtful. Magaling sa words si Lester eh. Kasi he's a, he's a writer. Tapos, oh. you know, so, yeah. so, magaling siya sa words. Tapos, pero iniwan ko yung yung letter niya. Hindi ko dinelete. Usually, pagka, oh, previously married, oh, ganito, divorce, eh, ganito, delete, 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 delete. Yung kay Lester, because his email was thoughtful. Tapos, by then, alam ko na kung sino yung binobola lang ako at hindi. Kasi, yes. um. and I felt the sincerity in his email. But, I couldn't get myself to respond kasi nga, divorce parang ayoko ng sana ganon so anyway um december 2012 new year i was with my best friend nasa peru kami because we went to machu picchu tapos oh, social oh social new year's, oh. new year's mm. eve in lima sa peru so nagbook na siya ganito ganyan yun ang dates nyo ha hindi yun ang... friend ko Babae. Ah, friend, friend, friend. Okay, yeah. Kasi okay. okay. single din siya. Okay. Sabi niya, um, matutulog daw siya ng hapon, ng 31st. Kasi magpa-party kami sa gabi. E sabi ko, ang boring mo naman. Kaso, hindi naman ako pwedeng dumabas mag-isa kasi delikado raw sa lima. Okay. So, I was stuck in the hotel room. She was sleeping. Nabore ako. So, binuksan ko yung match.com. Tapos pinagsasagot ko lahat ng mga pending email. <laughs> Kasama doon yung email ni Lester. Oh. Ah, salamat sa Lima, Peru at hindi makalabas. I kaya, nakita mo yung universe, di ba? Yeah. Oh, oh, no. Buti na lang si Lester din single at that time. So I got an email back from him right away. Pero he was busy. So we, we set up our date January 13. Uy, ang tagal ha. November, from December tapos... to January. O, October siya nag-email. Tapos from December, nag-January. January yung date namin. Oh. Tapos, nag-date kami, hindi ko nga siya, di ba, parang I was, hindi ko talaga tinitake seriously. Sabi ko lang, okay, fine, you know, dinner, ganyan. Pag upo namin, sa kanya ko lang to ginawa. Pag upo namin, sabi ko, so we were looking at the menu. Ang dami ko pang ano, ang, ang, ang diva ko sa kanya. Tagang, Oh, I want to have dinner at 5 because I have to leave at 7.30 kasi may meeting pa ako, ganito, ganyan. Tapos sabi ko, here's my studio address. Find something around there, 5 to 10 mile radius lang. Ano, 5 mile radius na lang, sabi ko, ayokong lumayo. Oh my God, okay. So sabi niya, oh my gosh, it's this girl. Sabi niya, sabi niya sa akin, nasabi raw niya sa friend niya na parang gusto na niya cancelahin yung date. Oh, kasi wow. napakasabi. Ko. Kasi ang dami kong kondisyones, di ba? <laughs> night before, binasa ko ulit yung, ano, syempre, nireview ko yung profile niya para alam ko kung sino yung kadate ko the next day. Nakita yes. ko may cats. Allergic ako sa cats. Ah, okay. So, so, 
kinakancel ko na yung date namin kasi it won't work kasi may cats ka. <laughs> Ano ba? Ano ba yun? Dahil sa pusa. Dahil kay Kitty. Uy, kasi <laughs> minsan, na, minsan deal breaker yun. Siyempre, di ba? Oo, deal breaker Pan- talaga. Mahal niya yung cat niya. Ano ano ang papiliin mo? Between yeah. you and the cat, right? Oo, ako. Oo, ako. Oo, ako. Oo, ako. From London. Kasi di ba taga London siya? Yes. Here. Oh, wow. Oh. Kasi kung nag-deal niya ako, sabi niya, don't worry. Sabi niya, wait, just, let's just try it out. Let's go for, for dinner and then see. Ganyan, ganyan. So anyway, dito na, dami ko ng mga kondisyon. So sino pag upo namin, binigyan na, na kami ng menu. Sabi ko na sa kanya, "So what do you want?" Sabi niya, "The fish here is good, Ninnie. The fish here is good." Kasi nakahanap siya ng restaurant, pinagbuti na lang kilala niya yung bartender dun sa restaurant na kilala niya, Ari. Tapos na convince sila to open up early. Kasi ang dinner dito, 'di ba, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. <laughs> yes, so ang aga. <laughs> so mo pa open ng mas maaga ng 5. So nag-dinner kami ng 5. Sabi ko, Sabi ko, yun, sabi ko, what do you want? Sabi niya, uh, the fish here is good. Sabi ko, no, from from this. Because, you know, I'm looking for a husband. Wait, wait, wait. Dineretso mo siya? <laughs> right <laughs> while having dinner? Before having dinner, pag upo pa lang, hindi pa kami nakapag- Oh my God, girl, you are the bomb, girl. <laughs> Tapos? Yun, know, sabi ko, what do you want from, from this? Because, you know, I'm looking for a husband and... and And if you if you're not looking for a wife because you're already divorced, that's fine too. But don't waste my time because I don't have time to waste. Because I'm feeling like I'm preset na sa utak mo talaga na ay nako I I I wanna end this date oh, oh, as quickly I'm as I done. can. Because nga yung pusa number one, de ba? Chaka yung divorce. Nadun pa rin sa utak mo, no? Oh, oh. Does he have Does he have kid? uh, uh, kids? Kids. Kids. Oh, oh, yun. Ah, oh, kaya, kaya, kaya wala kang pake alam kung sabihin niya ay. O sige na, ayoko na rin sa'yo. Okay rin sa'yo oh, kung gano'n, di ba? But how old was the, was the kid? I mean, a girl or a boy at that time? The girl was three. Bata. Ah, okay. Bata. Oh, bata pa. So, talagang you don't really care. That's why you're like, you know what? That's it. I'm just gonna be And honest natin, with you. Oh, oh, parang gano'n. Kung ma-turn off ka, di ma-turn off ka. Kung ma-turn off ako, ma-turn off. Parang talagang nothing. There was no, nothing frequency. Wala akong expectation. Nothing. Tapos yung sabi niya, whoa. Sabi niya, you're not wasting time. Nagulat siya. Kasi napaka-forward ko, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sabi ko, yeah, I don't have time to waste because you know what? I'm 35. I wanna get married when I'm 36. Maybe have children by 38, 30. So binigyan ko talaga siya ng timeline. May timeline. Oh my God. Kung, iba, kung ibang guy yan, ano na yung turn off na, di ba? Parang wow. Al- alert, alert. Oh my God. Sabi ko, psycho to psycho. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> abort, abort. Diba? Oh, wow. Sabi niya, okay, let's start with the fish. Tapos yun, nag-usap kami. Tapos biglang narinig ko na meron pala siyang English accent kasi nang galing pala siya ng England. Hindi ko nabasa yun dun sa profile. <laughs> But, hindi mo napansin, umpisa pa lang? Ang hirap talaga pag may namimiss ka mga details. Oh. <laughs> kasi nasa oh. online dating din ako ngayon, hindi ako masyado oh. nagbabasa. <laughs> yeah. Here's a tip, kailangan mo re-reviewin before mag-date. Kasi kung meron deal breaker, don't waste your time. I know. Ako rin kasi meron ako mga deal breaker na hindi ko namimiss ko. Ang tagal na namin nag-uusap, sayang yung oras. Ano ba yun? Sayang yung oras. Pero meron, meron ba kayong chemistry? Nung nag, n- meron. Nung nag- Ayun. Wow, Can't be denied. denied. Meron, meron. In fact, after nun, actually, actually, hindi pa siya tapos mag-dinner. Tumayo na ako kasi I have to go. Kasi nga, meron ako 7.30, di ba? <laughs> kasi nag-sked ka nga talaga. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Meron, tumain, tumain. <laughs> I have to go. Sorry. Sabi niya, no, no, let me, ano, let me walk you to your car. Oh, gentleman, di ba? In fact, oh, oh, oh. sinabi pa niya dun sa waiter, that's why I remember, sabi niya sa waiter, I'll be back to finish my food. <laughs> practical. <laughs> Very practical. Gutom pa siya, ano ba? Oo, oo, oo. Buti hindi turn off, no? Oo, oh, oh, na umalis ka agad. Oh. Tapos? Sabi niya, Sabi niya, um, this was fun. This was interesting. Sabi niya, I'd like to do this again. Tapos, in my mind, say ko, bago gusto mo pa ha, uulit ka. <laughs> Masokista ang inisip mo sa kanya. Masokista ang lolo mo, oo. That's what, that was a Tuesday. Tapos sabi ko, ah, well, say ko, I'm free on Friday. Tapos sabi niya, ah, actually, I'm not free in the next two weeks. Say ko, gumante. <laughs> Ikaw ang mag-antay sa akin ngayon. Oo, oh, 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 oh. yeah. So, yun. Hindi siya free for the next two weeks. So, we didn't have our second date until the following two weeks after that. 
Oh, but during but you the were ex- weeks, but you were exchanging you were texting, text. Actually, okay. He called, he called right away the following day. Parang look, um, I don't know, but my friends are telling to wait two days, three days because ganyan ganyan. But you know, I don't want to play games, and I can see from our conversation you also don't want to play games. So just you know, just letting you know that I'm calling you because I enjoyed our conversation and I'd, I'd like to do it again. Yung two weeks na yon na hindi kami nagdate every day niya ako pinatawagan. Oh my god! Wow. And, Alam mo- he was ano, he was directing a documentary for the Grammys at that time. So he's very oh, busy. Wait, Grammys, wait, wait. Grammys? Taga Grammys siya? Director siya. Ay, sa oh, Excuse me! Ang gan- Same level pa pala kayo in interest. Ah, ito pa pala, ito pa pala. So after, okay, go, go, go. after nung date, hindi pa rin ako masyadong convinced. Binigyan ko siya ng, ng business card. <laughs> the director ko. <laughs> 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 Business to mag-networking tayo, oh, oh. okay? Teka lang, may sumo ako, nakalimutan ko, wait lang. Oo nga, sandali, baka gusto mong... Baka, mag- baka ano ba? kung hindi mag-work out yung love... Mag-work out oh, yung dalawa, oh. okay, go. Well, you know what, if this doesn't work out, we can at least work together. <laughs> oh my God, ang tatalino nyo, ha? Ang talino mo, girl. Oh, tapos, tapos. Tapos sabi niya, oh, I recognize this card. Do you know, an ganyan, ganyan, nagsabi siya ng name, na friend pala niya, yung pala yung mentor ko. sa LA18. Oh my God. Pero at that time, that guy was already in Paris kasi umalis na sa LA. So pag uwi ko, ginugol chat ko yung nasa Paris. Like, I met this guy, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos, kinonfirm niya lahat. So, na, kasi diba, one of the things that's that's kind of scary about or risky about online dating is you don't know if the person is really the person that he's... Exactly. Yes, yes, because they can... Uh, 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 um, they can come up with stories about yeah. themselves. Sure, right? Oh, oh, yes. Because this guy vetted the the one from Paris na, who was my used my mentor sa LA18, vetted and said, yeah, I know he, na, I know he's legit. And uh, is this what he told you? Ganyan, ganyan. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, biglang kampante na ako agad. Okay, <laughs> oh, my Oh, oh, yeah. Ay, nakalimutan mo ni Pusa Kali- sa panahon. Uy, si, si, si Kitty. O, oh, kalimutan na si Kitty. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi naman sa yun, talagang uh, fun pa rin. But, you know, I was really looking na to settle down. I was looking for a husband. Iba naman yung looking just to date and looking for a husband. Alam mo, ito ha, one good thing about um, when you're dating, when, um, pag nandun ka na sa older stage, kasi no bo- BS na yan, no? Like, come on. Ayan. Oh, ay, may BS pa rin ba kayo? Oh, no time na wala. Iba. Kasi like with my oh, friends, some of them are still single. They tell me, may mga BS pa. It, na-realize ko na, um, that's why you have to sit down with yourself. That can figure out what you want, who you want, ganyan, ganyan. Because, diba, if you don't, para yun yung panghahawakan mo. Because if you, they say, if you don't stand for anything, you fall for anything. Exactly. Correct. Madaling bolahin. Lalo na pag yung naghahanap ka ng, di ba, madali ka mabubola. I, so, I know what you're saying is like, because kahit marang, nag-BS yung mga kaharap mo na mature na mga lalaki, pero dahil ikaw, you're aligned to your goal, hindi ka matitinag dun kahit binibs ka nila. Oo. Oh, oh. okay. Kasi saka ano din eh, yung mga, yung, you've been there, done that. So, sometimes you can discern right away. I mean, not right away, but, oh. eh, di ba, the way they talk, they, malalaman mo na kaagad who's BS and who's real eh, no? Medyo, oo. Oh. Yeah. So, what made you fall in love with oh, Lester? Oh, na. Ano pa nangyari? Meron oh, pa. Uh, <laughs> Namumula na ako. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> Kinikilig kami, girl. Oo Parang nga. Parang hindi ko nagbabasa ako ng love story. Ang ganda okay, ng story. <laughs> Ang ganda ng story. Very inspiring. Second date, okay? Friday. So, have you been to ganyan-ganyan? Kasi shinoot pala niya yung, yung corporate video nung Clio sa SB, SBE company. So, doon niya ako dinala nag-dinner kami. After ng dinner, we had fun. Sabi niya, what are you doing tomorrow? Sabi ko, nothing. Saturday yon. Sabi niya, do you want to watch a movie? Sabi ko, okay. So the next day, third na- date na namin. Date na kami ulit. Nanood kami ng movie, tas nag-dinner kami. Ayan na. Your Mac will sleep soon unless plugged into a power outlet. Wala akong uh, charger. <laughs> so, I can't. Uh, <laughs> so yung wala uh, na. So, tapos, tapos. Um, uh, joke lang yon. Okay, go. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> totoo. Ay. I think we hold on. Meron tayong 6%. Okay, okay. Pwede okay. pa yan. Okay, pwede, go, pwede go, pa go. yan. <laughs> okay, go. Tapos, eh, one hour na tayo. O, tapos sabi ko, okay. tapos yun, tapos nag-date kami ulit, di ba, Saturday, movie ka na. So, following, sabi niya, what are you doing tomorrow, Sunday? Sabi ko, nothing. So, you wanna have brunch? Sabi ko, okay. 11 o'clock. The 11 o'clock. 
Aba! Ayan, nagbababay na si Gary. <laughs> Oo, oh, hi! Sabi niya, oh, oh. sabi niya, uh, 9.30, after namin mag as a family, 10 o'clock, sabi ng dad ko, come, let's have brunch, which is yung tradition ay ng family. Sabi ko, no, I have a brunch date. Sabi niya, sino? Sabi ko, basta ganyan. Pero hindi pa tumatawag eh. Sabi niya, okay, then just come with us. Basta, cut the long story short, aba, 11 na, wala pang tawag. So, Nandun ako with my parents, sabi ng dad ko, kumain ka na, baka hindi niyan tumawag. Sabi ko, okay, ganyan. 12 o'clock tumawag si Lester. Nakatulog, hindi nagising sa alarm. Kasi, oh. kasi yun nga, they were finishing the the documentary that they were doing for the Grammys. So, napuyat. So, oh. tuma- so tumawag siya. So, nag-brunch kami ng 2 o'clock. Aww. You know what made me, what got me? Kasi parang sincere siya, tapos ano, he's very, ano, he's very, um, he does what he says he will do. Ganun. Okay. Tapos oh, sinabi niya tatawag siya, diba sinabi niya tatawag siya, tapos he got caught up in a meeting. He'll text me. Halimbawa, tatawag siya ng 2, he'll text me ng mga 1.30. This meeting is running long, I might be late in calling you, but if if I don't call you at 2, I'll call you right after this meeting. Yung walang guessing game, alam ko kung oh, talagang oh, direct to the point. Alam ko oh, kung oh. ginagawa niya, alam ko busy siya, ganun. Kaya doon to be talaga. Mm-hmm. Kali. And then you have two kids, right? Yes. Like, right. Wow. So wait, what type of curious ako. What type of mother are you and what type of father he, um Lester is? Pareho kaming hands on. I'm very very hands on. In fact, very hands-on ako kay Lily. Hindi lang ako naging hands-on as much kay Leo kasi ang kulit ni Leo. You know, pag si Lily kasi papalitan mo ng diaper, nakanga lang siya. Si Leo, no? Oh, girl, eh. Oh. Kayo. <laughs> Iba ng personality. <laughs> oo, oo. Siyempre, boy yun. Oo, oo, oo. Minsan nga, pag kinarga ko si Leo, gusto pa niyang parang hindi niya ladder ako. Tinatapa ka. Oh, <laughs> Makyat. Ano pa ba? <laughs> So, si Lester yung ina-assign ko kay Leo palagi. So, Lester and Leo oh. got very, very close to the point na pagka si Lester lumalabas ng room, umiyak si Leo. Ay, ganun. Oh, wow. Attached na. Oh, kasi nga, attached na siya. Right, oh, oh. Ko si Leo, wala siyang pakisakin. Yung daddy lang niya yung gusto niya. Hinahabol niya. Oh. Tapos, umalis si Lester ng room, awawa si Leo pa. Pala mo, nalugi. Talagang umiiyak talaga. Meron kayong ano ba? Um, good cop, bad cop sa relationship niyo with the kids? Yes, yes. But I'm so, mostly, parang sinasabi kasi ni Lester, mas ano, hindi kami yung masyadong, like with Lily, more on like talking to her and explaining to her why it's wrong. Um, rather than like reprimanding. Oh. Rather than, Okay. Pero, Pero Janelle, meron, uh, Janelle, meron din ba kayong good cop, bad cap uh, role play pag kayong dalawa lang ni Lester? Na- sarot lang, joke lang. Joke lang, lang yan. Sarot, sarot, Walang sarot. Walang niya, talaga nakatanong ko. <laughs> yeah. Pero may nang question. Kasi na lang, hindi joke. <laughs> Ay, oo. Pero sino ang ano, sino mas ano, mas um, mag- spoiler sa inyong dalawa? Sabi niya ako daw. Sa mga ba. Ah, talaga? Sabi wow. Niya. Kasi alam mo, parang yung sa inyo, no, parang match made in heaven, no? Imagine mo, magkaparehas pa kayo ng, magkaparehas kayo ng, ng industry. Tapos una, parang, do you think you, you guys are opposite? Or, kasi sabi nila, opposite do attracts? Or, nagko-compensate talaga, you know, kayong dalawa with each other? Nagko-complement naman. Oo, nagko-complement. Hmm. Actually, Ka- yung, yung first daughter niya, um, dun sa previous marriage, that girl was daddy's girl. Kaya, oh. nagulat si Lester with Lily kasi si Lily is super mommy's girl. Super oh, mommy's girl. Okay. Halimbawa, makita ni Lily na, halimbawa, umalis si Lester, tapos umiyak si Leo, tapos kakagahin ko si Leo, try to console him, tapos to Miguel. Tapos sabihin ni Lily, Mommy, it's okay. I love you. It's girls versus boys. And boys, and girls rule, and boys drool. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so but how is your relationship with with um with a Lester's daughter? Okay, well, my are you guys close? Okay, then kami. Oh, 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 but we don't. Especially ngayon, syempre quarantine, we haven't seen yes. her as much. But ay okay naman siya, kasi parang lumaki na rin siya na parang ako na yung parang second parang mom. Second figure. mom, yeah, no. Um, uh, she's now what? Well, 
She's 12. I met oh, her when she was 12 years old. Ah, so ate siya, nung dalawa. Oh, oh that's good. They Everything have... worked out, no? Oh, oh, no. Do you have plans of, um, you know, having another kid or that's it? <laughs> Tapos na, sir, i-divorce daw niya ako pagka nag-baby pa. Although, oh my God. Talaga, kaya lang, hindi ko na rin kaya. You know, with Leo, I was on bed rest for eight weeks. Yung huliga talaga. Oh, wow. I was in and out of the ER. Kala ko hindi na, you know, everyone was so scared. Everyone around me was so scared for me. Wow. Pero wait, um, I know like recently lang pinayagan ka ulit ni, ni Lester na to go back to your real passion, which is, that's the reason why nagkaroon ng Sojanel, right? Mm-hmm. So what made you, ano, what did you do f- to convince uh, Lester? You know, mas he mas mo ba? Or? Si Lester. You know, when I when he was just my fiancé, nung uh, two weeks before the wedding, said, I don't want to work anymore. Sabi niya, are you sure? Sabi ko, yeah. Sabi niya, why? Because sabi ko, I'm tired. Ganyan, ganyan. Sabi niya, okay. Andali, okay lang. Andali, ang bilis kausap? Bilis niya kausap. Tapos nung nabor na ako, nung mga unang six months, sabi ko, I want to go back to work. Okay. Puro okay lang. Hindi niya ako kina-question. Okay, okay. Um... Eh, kaso na, yun, nalaman namin buntis pala ako with Lily. So sabi niya, you still want to work? Sabi ko, no, I've been praying for this and now I have it. I might as well take care of it. So I didn't work for Lily's first 18 months. Tapos ang sabi ko sa kanya, I'm ready. Sika, I want to I want to put up my own production company and and host and, and produce my own show. Sabi niya, okay, I'll help you. What do you need? Oh my Galing. God. So siya yung parang creative director. Siya yung nag-conceptualize ng show. And now congrats kasi third year anniversary so, na ba? No? Oh. Nang so genuine. Oo. Oh, Ang galing. God. Ibang klase. Ibang klase yung production and all. Uh-oh. Ibang klase. Nakaka-proud so, for, ano, for, for dito sa film and community, no? Oh, salamat naman. Yeah. Nakala ko napapansin kasi hindi mainstream. Ano ka ba? No, no, no. no napapansin. Pilipinos. <laughs> diba dapat mainstream? Ganito, ganyan. Naku, that's, the name itself is a mainstream. Diba, ah, Janelle? So, it's mainstream. So, whatever, whatever show that you will, you will put up, magiging mainstream yan. No, I Oo, oh, oh, hindi. Ang galing, ang galing. Ito, no, at behan- you know what? Yan, bago tayo maubusan ng battery. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was gonna say kasi, like just recently, I was talking to this woman I interviewed, no? My point in producing the show is I wanted to invest in the community. Kasi syempre, Hollywood, Hollywood, everyone's already covering Hollywood. Pero yung mga stories natin ng mga Pilipinos, kung hindi ka joke ko, yung app of the app, who will cover your stories? Exactly. Correct. But that's not yes. that your stories are, are less. Because your stories yes. are inspiring stories. Exactly. People highlight those stories kung hindi tayong mga Filipino, right? Yes, that's, yes. I have a segment on the show called So True, which which highlights mga ano, immigrant stories, mm-hmm. right? And then I spoke to this woman. I interviewed her last last week. And then after niya, nag, ano kami, tapos sabi niya, so ano may mga shows mo? Sabi ko, and then I do this, ganyan, ganyan, itong immigrant from the Philippines, ganito, ganyan. And then she started crying. Sabi niya, mm-hmm. her, her father was a producer in the Philippines um, na pumunta dito, nahirapang kumuha ng trabaho. So that began the spiral down of her father. Kasi na-depress, naging alcohol. Mm-hmm. Na-divorce, bumalik sa Philippines, he died in the Philippines, a homeless man. Hindi nakarecover. So sabi niya, Kung napanood niya siguro any of your shows like that, highlighting the immigrant struggles na if you, you struggle but you also make it, baka sana na-inspire siya or what. Pero nung time na yun, walang ganitong show that, for, that was highlighting the immigrant struggles. So di ba, it, it affirmed what I'm doing. Na uh-huh. merong immigrant dyan na siguro na depress na pag, baka pag nakapanood ng show, will find something inspirational, aspirational. Exactly. Diba? Exactly. True. So, so yun, that's why I'm so thankful na rin for this platform. Oo. It's a fulfillment, no? Ibang klaseng fulfillment, di ba? Yung the fact na may napa- yeah. napasaya ka, may na-inspire. Doing. Yeah. What what you guys are also doing is is really good. That you're uh, highlighting oh, oh. your safety. Oh. Exactly. Uh-huh. Kahit sino pwede, basta first of all, oh, inspiring eh. stories. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Parang, Kanya-kanya tayong niche eh. And, and, niche, we, and inside you is, is uh, we love it because you know, you're, you're, you're tuning into the Filipino sensibilities eh. 
Exactly. Diba? <laughs> oo. Tsaka, and the, tsaka, ibang klase, the cinemat- cinematography, oo. the uh, everything, uh, international, talagang pang international. Pang ano siya, oo. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what we love about about your show. Kami naman, oh. ganito lang eh. Kwentuhan, chikahan, like, you know, like, no. Ganito eh. Gusto ko nga matutong gumamit ng ring light, mga ganito. Nag- Gusto mong ganito. That's why we also launched yung spotlights on the, every month we do parang something like this. Pero, um, parang panel, parang serious pa rin eh. Dapat nga gumawa oh, ako. Nga. Oh, yeah, mo di bale. Tsaka pag pumunta ka dito ha or pumunta kami diyan, we have to meet ha. Mm-hmm. Yes. Kailangan nating mag-meet ay nila papa papa pako, di ba? Yeah. Papa pax. Oh, oh. oh, oh. No, the guest mo na ba siya? Yes, we the did. Na oh, siya. Yes, we did. Oh, oh. oh. We, we, did, so we, brad, we didn't even know that he's kind of like ano tawag doon? He's a life coach now. And he oh, talks oh, well. Eh. Marami siyang mga um, ano, nuggets, nuggets. Nuggets food. talaga. Kaya nga sabi ko, sana uuwi kami dyan. Uuwi tuloy. Uuwi pala, Pilipinas. Sana mm. pupunta kami dyan eh. Like anytime soon may mga, dapat nga December kaso because of COVID. So okay. anytime next year. Or pag pumunta ka dito, I'm sure, I'm sure maraming, marami kang guesting dito sa East Coast. <laughs> oh, especially oh. sa New York. Oo, oh, oh, no, Diyos ko. Janelle Su ata. Yan, hello. Ba't ko na dyan si Elton, si Elton, si Tita Miles, mga ganyan. We're the same, same group, di ba? Oo oh, oh, nga eh. Maliit lang naman ang Filipino community. At saka isa lang ang goal natin eh, no? Is to help, di ba? And uplift the Filipino community. Uh, we, have, we have to uplift each other, di ba? Exactly. Let, let, let's, let's veer away from the talangka. That's very old, ano na. Oo, oh, oh, sakit sa ulo. Pasay na yun, di ba? Oo oh, oh, nga. Gra- Wait, we also na- learn from each other. Exactly. Yeah. And we're, sa totoo lang, we've learned a lot from you. Kasi bago Uh-oh. lang kami, seven months lang kami. Oo nga, Tapos ano like, ba? Yeah, bago lang kami. Yeah. Kasi we just started seven months ago. So, Trip- just email me if you have any questions. Pero yun, yun nga, si Paco ang magaling sa ganito, yung podcast. Kasi yung podcast Uh-oh. niya, di ba? Tapos sa Uh-oh. YouTube, yan, yan, magaling si Paco. Si pa- o Papa Pax, talagang love namin yan si Papa Pax eh. Mm-hmm. Sayang no bitin. But thank okay you ha, kasi sige. alam mo, alam, alam part, so part ng show mo yan eh. You, you, you were very, you're so candid. O oh, ba? <laughs> yes, oo. <laughs> Sobra. Oo. We love your, yung kwento mo, my God, yung love story niyo grabe. Ay. O, ibang class, kasi may last question ako bago tayo magbabaya. Tsaka magbigay ka ng, ng, ng um, message mo, sa, at tsaka mag-vlog ng shows mo. Uh, mm. Kung mababalik ka, second time ko nang tatanong to, I forgot who was the, the the person that we that we interviewed. Kung may babalik kang kang time uh, sa Pilipinas, sa Pilipinas lang tayo. Mm-hmm. Anong eksakto yung time na gusto mong balikan and what if is there anything that you want to change? Hmm. Wala. I'm sure. Iniisip ko na expect kasi ang saya ng buhay mo, girl. Hindi masaya. <laughs> Hindi masaya, pero... Wait, ano tal- oh. downs, pero parang yes. looking back, everything led me to where I am now. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oo, oo, oo. No so, regrets. No naman regrets, oo. Oh. Oh, oh. Tsaka, Tsaka imagine, pagka hindi ka pumunta dito, hindi mo mamimit si Papa Lester. Korea. Ang napakagwapo. Sko, Lord! Kaya mga babies nyo, ang gaganda! Ay, ay, ayan na! Ay, na. <laughs> ah, ang kausap natin ay umiikot na ay, ano. No, no, ayun no, na yun. No, no, oh. Ay, no. Sayang namatay na, di ba? Oo, mali mo magka part 2 tayo. Na, mm-hmm. Naku, namatay na, Miss ano, uh, Janelle. Miss Janelle. So anyways, oo, di ba, Lee J. O sige, i-close mo na yung show. Sayang Sayang namatay na. Pero baka pwede ka pang, uh, Janelle, baka pwede kang pumasok sa ano, <laughs> sa iPhone mo, sa phone mo. So anyways, okay, Jcas, namatay na ang ano, ang, ang uh, laptop ni Janelle. So, I, oh, yeah. Yeah, so please close that since buti na lang. Teka lang, I, I just wanna okay, say, go. oh my God, ang, ang sarap niya kausap, no? E to see Sarap the other kausap, side. No? Kasi, di ba, uh, napanood ko yung ano eh, yung uh, interview niya kay Paco and dun kay Jaja and yung, yung nagka-COVID sila, te. Tapos Ay, ano, oo, oh, oh, sa YouTube. I will watch it later. Okay, okay. Kaya okay. sabi ko, uh, sabi ko. I know she has, she uh, sabi, she had an sabi interview. Sabi ko, ito, 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 si, ito, ito, si, okay. ito si Ate Janelle, sabi ko, hindi lang yung ano eh, maganda siya. I, I, I love listening to her voice. It's very soothing. O, nga, very alam soothing. mo yun, ganun, 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 yung personality niya, the whole oh, At saka ngayon kasi nakikita ko lang, no? yun nga kasi may serious pa rin yung interview niya. And, and I love seeing her and very candid and talking about yung paano sila nag-meet ng husband niya, di ba? Grabe, no? Di, tsaka ang gusto ko sa kanya, um, marami kasi, and I think the reason why Janelle made it to the mainstream. Di ba, kahit nakuwento niya sa Pilipinas pa lang, parang, eh, um, 
she didn't do it in purpose. She didn't she didn't go for 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 the hindi siya nag ano yung, yung, yung talagang for hirap na ano diba kumayod para for the to, audition uh, and then you know they just it just so happened that they, re- they, they really wanted her look and how she exactly, speaks basically exactly landed to her um, feeling ko talagang nasa ano yun eh nasa palad niya na yun uh-oh. you know destined she's destined to be a star tsaka makikita mo naman usually yung mga tao na ano um paano ba if if you're um so lahat ng mga na interview natin especially her na isang of course isang naging uh, sportscaster naging mainstream na host di ba sa Pilipinas even dito sa US makikita mo na uh, I know the reason why she became a big hit it's because yung personality niya eh Mm-mm. meron siyang ano eh meron siyang ano, it's so hard to explain eh na parang once you talk to her you will get you will be glued to her to she her has charm it. She, has, she has that X factor and X factor no I get it now no, no, very I, eloquently we're to yes yes definitely yeah my God, thank you so much, Janelle. I thank know you, Janelle. nabitin. My Oo. God, sayang. Mali mo magka-part two tayo and we will see her hopefully when we go to California. Um, Cody, Miranda, actually, we're, we're going there Um, August ata yung plano kung wala ng COVID. Tignan natin kasi Cody, Miranda ngayon, is coming here. Kasagsagan na naman ni Rone. Eh. Talagang ayaw magpapigil, eh, di ba? Oo nga, eh, si Rone talaga. Ay, Diyos ko, sumasakit ang ulo kay Rone. Oo oh, oh, nga eh. Mm. Oh, anyways, again guys, COVID. sa mga taga, taga New York, hello, there's a free COVID uh, testing uh, with uh, Monarch Medical Aesthetics. Of course, I'm aming dearest friend, si Doc Alice Almendral. So guys, if you don't have an insurance, it's free. Please feel free to reach out. Uh, book now, 917-633-7710. It's free COVID testing for the uninsured and no copay. For those people who has insurance. O, ba? So, ayan na. Meron pang rapid testing. O, ayan na po. O, sige, J-Cast. Ra- ra- ano? O, ra- i-close mo na. Uh, rapid or ra- rabies? Iyon yata kailangan kong testing. Kaga- eh. Rabies. <laughs> Rapid testing. Oh, may 15 minutes sa ata ngayon eh, no? And always be careful, guys, sa lahat. Hindi mm-hmm. lang sa taga US, sa buong mundo. Please, please, please mm-hmm. be careful, de ba? Alangan. And especially now, magti Thanksgiving. So Oo at nga. least ang limit indoor, uh, indoor gathering is only 10 people. Yes. Uh, kung meron pong 12 New to 15, New Jersey. New Jersey, New York, and oh, some Jersey, other places York, as yun. well, in different states. And kung meron po kayong plano na, na mag-exceed ng 10, wag lang po kayong papahuli. Kasi mahal po <laughs> ang $1,500 ba ang ano? Ang fine. Oh my so, God, sayang yun. And make sure na tipong wear your mask kahit ayaw nyo magpahuli. Wear your mask kahit renta pa kayo sa bahay. Wear wag nyo na gawin. Be careful. Ano ba? Yes, at wag nyo na pong dalagad. Wag mo na sabihin magpahuli. Hindi, okay. ito ah, I'll be honest with you ah. Magpakatotoo naman. I mean, uh, come nope. on. Be, let's be honest. A I lot of people, it's not just Filipinos, but different ethnicity, di ba, matitigas ang ulo, sometimes, sige, 15 tayo, okay lang, okay lang. Yeah, they want to stick to the traditions. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But guess what? If Even if I know yung iba, sabihin natin, okay, matigas ang ulo, they don't want to conform to the, to the, what's that? Oo. They don't want to conform dun sa rules and regulations ng state and every state. Mm-hmm. Just be careful, you know, if even if you will have your gathering, your family, family um tradition, na tipong lahat ng pamilya nandun or a couple, Sana iwasan po. And of course, be extra careful and be responsible by wearing mask. That's it. Yeah. Yun lang po. Yes. Okay, Jcas, close the our, our ano. And wag niyo pong kakalimutan. Wala eh. So, dahil wala eh. Si o oh, diba? Dahil mga an- an- tawag, anong tawag. Kuratsa po kami. Bumukas po may show kami ulit. Ito po ay yes. with Chad Kinnis. <laughs> Chad Kinnis. Ano oras po? 10.30 a.m. New York time, right? 10.30 a.m. New York time. Yes. And right. it's 11.30 p.m. in oh, the shit. Philippines. Oh shit. Saturday na bukas pala. Oh, oh Saturday. Mm-hmm. So a yes, lot of direct. people actually inaabangan ang Chad Kinnis. Ang tagal. I- I- yan yung, siya yung pinaka, ano, one of the most uh, requested uh, Becky's uh, personality. The yes. <laughs> and of course, congratulations to R.S. Francisco. Oh, nga pala. Wow. He was the one, our Woo! dearest, our dearest good friend. I love you, R.S. Raymond Francisco. Because he was the one who produced Becky's Problem. Which is, they just launched it just uh, yesterday. Uh, May, uh, May first 20th. episode na ba? Is it in YouTube? It's the first episode. Uh, first episode. And I'm also congratulations it. kay R.S. Kasi di ba he won the Asia's ano, Philanthropist oh Award? Kap-kat-ex ko siya kanina. Oh. Love you, R.S. Love you, love you. And thank you so much oh, yes, for the never-ending support. Thank you for always thank supporting OGOT. 
Yes. And oo nga pala po, teka. Bago ang lahat, bago tayo magbabay. Um, tomorrow po is, sound. ano, sige, I have to say this na. Tomorrow po, uh, in the evening, in uh, 8.30, I think, 7.30. Oh, sige, we will post it. We'll uh, share it na lang. We'll share it na lang. Uh, uh, for Team United Maharlika, uh, actually, it's an foundation, honor. Foundation, yes. Foundation. Uh, Team United Maharlika Foundation in the U.S., uh, it's an honor for us because we were one of the awardees. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you so much for recognizing our efforts. Sa lahat ng mga kagulu, kagag, kagaguhang ginagawa namin Kag- dito. It's only kawal, been seven months namin, that, we, yes. we, that we've been doing this podcast. Of course, it's not just for us. Na tipong kalokohan lang namin, sulang namin, iminom. And then eventually, we realized that, oh my God, para pala to sa mga taong na de-depress. Diba? Yung mga tipong, they just wanna forget about their problems yes. and they wanna uh, listen to... They just to, wanna look at Jekas. Uh, yes, look Ayan. at Jekas. <laughs> they wanna listen to... Walang yaka. They wanna listen to, <laughs> to you know, to, to their favorite celebrities, you know, about their inspiring stories. And for those people who has an inspiring stories, and thank you so much again, Team United Maharlika, for recognizing our efforts because we have, uh, we're one of the awardees for most outstanding for Foreign workers in the, in the, in the media you. category. Thank yes, you for the media lahat. category. Thank At, you. This is our second time for, the, for seven months. First is uh, we're part of the top 100 for TOFA, uh, uh, 100 most influential Filipino Americans in the U.S. for TOFA. So we're part of it. And then second award is, of course, most outstanding foreign workers in the media arts industry, which is uh, over a glass or two. Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you kataba ng puso. Oo, Hindi saka, lang naman para sa atin to, para sa lahat. Oo, sa lahat, sa lahat ng mga nag-enjoy din. Diba? Kasi yes. ngayon nga mm-hmm. pandemic, eh, salamat yes. din at na-recognize din. Oh my God, long seven months pa lang tayo. I know, Bakula. I know. It's been parang Tapos, grabe surreal, no? Mm-hmm. So anyways, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Anyway, Jcast, close muna po ang ating show dahil wala na si Miss Janelle. Miss Janelle, so I hope we will see you soon pag pumunta kami ng, ng East Coast, ay ng West Coast and I hope pagdating mo din dito. And of course, follow Janelle. All links are in the video description. Yes, so yung, Janelle, pag- yes, marami kayo matutunan. It's on TFC, so Janelle and also it's also in YouTube. In YouTube, mm-hmm. channel. And okay, Jcast, close it. Don't Kanina forget to share close. this. <laughs> yes, yung close mo, 100 times na. 110 oh. times, binilang ko. So guys, don't forget to share this video nga pala and also so, uh, please follow us here. Please follow us and like us here on Ogat Over a Glass or Two Facebook, and also subscribe to us in our YouTube channel and also uh, in Instagram and in Twitter. All right. So thank you guys again for watching and tuning in. Let's cheers, Madam Jessie. Yes. Let's remember. Thank you again, Miss Janelle. So okay. Thank oh, you so thank much. You. Yes, thank it's, you, it's really an honor. It's an, uh, we're humbled. Thank you be, for the so for allowing us, candid diba? conversation. Yes, maraming maraming salamat. Okay, Jekas. Remember guys, amid the amid <laughs> the pandemic, no, wala naman ako. Amid the pandemic, <laughs> let's find ways to be happy. Jessie nga said, dagdagan ko daw, let's be kind to each other. And yes. also, let's talk about it. Over, Over a, glass a glass or, or two. two. Cheers back. Love, Love you, guys. you. Good night. See you tomorrow with Chad Keenis. I hope you will watch it, guys. Good night.